Well, today is World Mental Health Day. It's a global day. It's dedicated to education and awareness and advocacy against social stigma. Yeah, the COVID-19 pandemic is really taking a toll on the mental health of a lot of us, especially yeah. teens. Anxiety disorders are the most common mental illness in the United States, impacting 32% of young people between the ages of 13 and 18. And joining us now here in studio is Kyle Mitchell, a teen social anxiety speaker and founder of the Social Anxiety Help. Now, first things, for, well, first of all, welcome. I'm thank so you. Thank you for having me. You've come a long way to be with us. From yeah, Indiana. absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's, well, thank you for that. Uh, define social anxiety and how it affects people on a day to day basis, particularly teens, which you focus on. Yeah, absolutely. So social anxiety is basically the fear of being negatively judged in social situations. So this can be from like standing in line at McDonald's thinking people are thinking negative things about you as simple as like how you're standing or, you know, a big one for teens, especially is, you know, raising your hand in class. This makes a lot of people really anxious, you know, uh, you know, somebody may be thinking I'm asking a dumb question or I'm going to answer this wrong. So be judged. Kind of exactly. So it impacts your life on a day-to-day -day basis I mean almost every minute of that day yeah and so it's hard to share our own story sometimes I know you've dealt with social anxiety yourself brave to speak about it how do you hope your story impacts others yeah so I just try to show people that vulnerability is a superpower so I try to be really vulnerable and sharing my story so other people will open up and realize well, one I'm not the only one dealing with this and two it gets that burden off your back if you can share with somebody else. Yeah, that's so powerful. There is like a lot of power in our story, so I'm glad you're sharing yours. On this World Mental Health Day, what can all of us do to do a better job of uh, addressing mental health wellness and just making it a priority for the community at large? Yeah, I think just uh, like you said, making it a priority. I think mental health should be just as high of a priority as our physical health. We know to eat right and to exercise to make sure we stay healthy. So what are some things we can do for our mental health? So I'm really big into being proactive with my mental health. So what can I do uh, to make sure, you know, I'm not facing anxiety as much, not going through those bad mental health days. So what I always encourage people to do is take some time for yourself in the morning, develop some sort of morning routine, whether that's just spending, you know, 10 minutes with yourself in the morning before, you know, checking your email, getting with your kids, all that stuff. And you could just be sitting there, you could be meditating, maybe doing gratitude journals, but do something for yourself in the morning. That's so helpful because it's so easy to get on social media right away, check yeah. your emails, and then your brain's going so fast, it's That's hard right. to even get your day started on a good note. Yes. So you have a three-step process to help teens who are dealing with social anxiety. Can you walk us through those steps? Yeah, so step one is to shower yourself with self-love. There's lots of ways to do this. I'm a big believer in using self-affirmations, you know, via I am statements. Uh, step two is to find baby step uncomfortable challenges. So finding really small ways that you can expose yourself to situations that make you feel anxious. So you can start to train your brain to get more comfortable in those situations and you build from there. And then step three is to reward your efforts and not your results, which is uh, pretty difficult because kind of in society we're driven towards like what is the result of what we're doing you know from you know we get grades in school it's how we're you know getting performance upgrades and work and stuff like that so I always like to reward myself every time I put effort towards a challenge whether it goes the way I think it will or you know it goes completely bad it doesn't matter because it only takes effort to go outside your comfort zone so I try to train myself by showing my brain like good job that you actually went out and did go. this thing and reward show yourself some grace exactly and it doesn't have to be anything big just you know it could be something as small as like a, a special coffee from Starbucks <laughs> or whatever yeah yes. and you mentioned it's very difficult now on the heels of COVID the pandemic and certainly in this social media age where we're bombarded with images it's very easy to see how it could be more prevalent to have more social anxiety particularly with teens oh yeah so much isolation mm -hmm. I think you mm -hmm. know so many yeah. of us struggle with that whether you're a teen or or an adult. That's right. So many were by ourselves. Well, Kyle Mitchell with Social Anxiety Help. Thank you so much for being here and sharing such practical steps that we can all use. Yes, thank you for having me. Absolutely.